good morning to my lovely friends how are you all i hope you all are doing good see there is so such a lovely rain over here it's raining so heavily love the weather <laughs> i just feel like going and getting wet in the rain <laughs> and the weather is so nice so i hope you all also are enjoying this weather and uh, please do take care of your health okay so today i'll be sharing a new recipe uh, on my vlog and that's uh, bombil fry wet bombil fry okay so many i think many of them must be liking uh, bombil wet bombil it's so yummy <laughs> and uh, when it's fried crispy it really tastes very uh, yummy it really tastes very nice like so i to just love bombil uh comment me and tell who loves bombil okay wet bombil not dry bombil Hi guys, uh, today's uh, recipe is uh, wet Bombay duck fry. Okay, so Bombil, uh, wet Bombil fry. So these are the Bombils I've taken. Wet Bombils it is. Okay, it's like uh, ten Bombils I've taken this. Okay, then uh, okay. So this uh, wet Bombay duck I've taken. Okay, uh, it's at least ten uh, pieces of Bombay duck. Okay, I've kept full only. It's little like this. Hmm? then some uh, freshly chopped uh, coriander leaves chili powder okay chili powder you can take more also if you want some turmeric powder if taken and uh, this is salt little of lime juice i'm going to use not a lot very little uh, and little ginger garlic paste okay and uh, for frying i've taken little of rice atta okay so it gives a little crispy na uh, and little of uh, uh, this wheat atta gehu ka atta okay and uh, this is chawal kata okay rice atta chawal kata and this is uh, this uh, what do you say little of chili powder and little salt to mix with the attas over here okay and in this masala na if you want you can add your home uh, made masala also but i'm not adding anything to it because i want the wet bombay duck as it is flavor so i'm not going to add more masala so then the taste goes away of the fish that's why so i'm just going to have chili powder and turmeric powder and this okay so uh, so now i'm going to this like add all this uh, in the bombay duck i'm going to add all this masalas okay everything i'm going to add all this okay and little of lime juice i'm going to put very little not a lot hmm now i'm going to mix this well like okay so i'm going to mix this well now okay So, check the salt. If you want more salt, or uh, once you this na apply to this well, check more salt if you want, or more uh, chili powder if you want. so you need to be added because some see we some people they add, have little extra salt only in their food so then as per your salt taste only i can say like na so see this is applied well okay so i cut this bombil only and i bought from the fisher lady okay so you all can also tell like na if you don't this way you can if you don't want to keep full na you can make 1 by 2 also okay so see this is done well okay The salt also is perfect, and uh, for us we don't need much spicy, you know. So the chili powder also is perfect for us. If you want, you all can add more chili powder, or you can add that homemade masala also. Many people they make homemade masala at home only, na. Or they bring also like little malvani masala, whatever on the shop from the shop you get, na, in the market. So that also, if you want, you can add little, very little, na. Don't add lot, because then the taste goes away of the fish. That's why. That's why we don't like to add much of masalas for this. 
okay so now i'm going to uh, mix the atas okay so this is wheat atta gehunka atta okay you need some they put rava also but uh, i don't like uh, rava because uh, then it takes lot of oil that's why okay this is rice cut i put okay little of salt and chili powder i'm going to mix this well and i'm going to show you two types of frying one is deep fry and one is shallow fry so some people they don't like deep fry na no? means lot of oil and all that so then you can take shallow fry also add little of uh, oil on the tawa and then on that you also you can fry i'll show you all how i'm doing i'll do both the way then i'll show you all shallow fry also and deep fry also okay see this is mixed well now hmm? so this atta is ready for the frying hmm? because you need to put little uh, salt and little uh, this na no? uh, chili powder in the uh, atta on the mixture like so then uh, it tastes nice also that's it that's like if little salt is less it doesn't taste so much good okay so i'll start frying okay so see i have dipped this in the atta like this okay i'll show you what i forgot actually to show you so this i'm going to leave in the oil okay and then one more i'll take at this dip like this in the atta This is called deep fry. Okay, so now I'm going to show you shallow fry also. Okay, so shallow fry is like on the tawa. So this is called shallow fry. So see, I put this on the tawa and plus I'm just. In the frying pan, this also. In the kadai also. Okay, so this is the deep frying we, and this is the deep shallow fry. Now, if you require little oil, you can put on top layer. I'll show you how to add that oil also. See, so if I want, I'll add a little oil, not lot, very little oil required, not much. Okay. My kids they love like this deep fry only. So I normally do deep fry. Very sometimes, very few times now I do uh, shallow fry. Not always, but because my kids they love deep fry like that. Don't make the haste of turning part kar gaya. Wait for little while, especially this one, because uh, other they start breaking. That's it. It got so fried. Well, how you get a little, little crispy? It has to become. Still, it is not done. See, this turned. Okay. Uh, if you are not able to hold uh, with this only, na, so other hand take one spoon and slowly hold the fish from both the sides and then turn. Okay. So this was the work fried. Well, I'll keep for two more, uh, two more minutes because it needs to get a little crispy. Okay, so see, this is done. It's fried well. See, you see, nice golden brown. It's nice. It's crispy also nice. So I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove the shallow fry ones also. Let me tell you, this is done. Ati. So the who has less of oil, no? They can just do the shallow fry also. Not necessary you have to deep fry only. So my kids they love deep fry, that's why they don't deep fry. And this is done. But believe me, more than uh, shallow fry, deep fry tastes more nice. But you should have this hot water. Whenever you are just um, only you know for this, you must not put fasoli masala and keep little or salt must marinate and keep. 
okay then when you're making it then uh, remove all the water out of that and then you put masala to it because first only if you put masala na then it start leaving water because bombilla has water in it na that's it so see finally the recipe is ready okay so see this is that uh, which i uh, shallow fried no that one and this is the deep fry one okay now if you don't want to keep no the bombil full so you can cut it one by two also see there is one by two also after okay if you want full you can keep full also but uh, i had kept uh, some full some uh, one by two admit okay so if this you can have with dal rice it is very nice even i have made dal rice only today <laughs> with this bread bomb bombil to have so it looks very delicious <laughs> please try this recipe like i know many of them know how to fry bombil but still i thought i will share my routine recipes also with you all so some who doesn't know how to fry bombil like so it's not difficult because some feel that are bombil if i fry it will break this it's really not difficult you can just put uh, gehum ka atta like wheat atta rice atta chawal ka atta okay and these uh, two attas if you put and fry it doesn't break try uh, avoiding uh, rawa because it takes lot of oil that's why okay so uh, please try this recipe <laughs> i can tell you all that only and uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel okay so for till then bye take care stay safe and be happy always okay